This video is brought to you by Micro Center Service. For a complete listing of available iPhone, iPad, and iPod parts, please visit microcenter.com and search for iParts, or stop by your local Micro Center. Additionally, Micro Center Service offers iPhone screen repair starting at just $79.99. You can visit microcenterservice.com for additional information or visit your local Micro Center. Start by removing the screws at the bottom of the iPhone. Please note these may be Phillips or Pentalobe depending on which screws Apple has used. Once the screws are removed, slide the back cover up and lift up to remove it. Remove the Phillips screw securing the battery connector. Then use your case opener tool to pry up on the exterior of the battery. While prying on the battery, use the pull tab to gently lift the battery out. Remove two Phillips screws securing the shield and remove the shield. Then use your case opener tool to lift off the connector and gently pull the ribbon cable back out of the way. Be careful as there is some adhesive holding it down and this cable is easy to tear. Next remove the shield securing the lower antenna cable. Then using your case opener tool disconnect the lower antenna cable. Once it is disconnected work it free from its channel. Remove the five Phillips screws securing the upper mainboard shield. This shield protects and secures six connectors to the mainboard. Once the screws are removed, gently lift the shield out of the way, being aware of the hook on the edge of the shield. Once the shield is out of the way, start disconnecting the connectors, starting with the camera. Lift the camera out of the way after it has been disconnected. Continue disconnecting connectors on the mainboard. There is another shield securing the upper antenna cable. This sh shield is secured with one Phillips screw. Once the shield is removed, disconnect the upper antenna cable with your case opener tool. The motherboard is secured with two Phillips screws and three larger flathead standoff screws. Remove these five screws. Verify again that all the connectors are removed from the mainboard and then gently lift the mainboard out of the case.
Use your case opener tool to lift the vibrator motor out of the case. It is secured with some adhesive. If at all possible, try to pry under the round motor itself and not the circuit board. Next, remove the two Phillips screws securing the microphone and speaker assembly. Please note that there is a small plastic triangle secured by one of those screws. Lift the assembly out of the case using your case opener tool if you need the extra leverage. The screen is secured by a total of 10 screws, one in each corner and three on each side. Start by removing the four corner screws, then simply loosen the six side screws one and one half turn. If you remove these, they are difficult to replace as there is a small washer present. If you do remove them, be sure to replace the washers as well. Once the screws are removed and loosened, start prying the digitizer and screen assembly from the case using your case opener tool. Please note that we have used a metal case opening tool as well for this example. Start at the side notches in the case. Thank you for watching this iPhone 4 disassembly video provided to you by Micro Center. Please be sure to stop into your local Micro Center or shop online at microcenter.com for all of your iPart needs.